John, 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 John. Hey, what's up? I'm Gore Blaster, and this is the Beasts of Nod Rig Rundown. Part one. This is the mothership. We've combined our guitar rigs, bass rig, in-ear monitor equipment, and USB audio interface into one 16-unit rack on wheels. Why? Because wheels allow us to move this hefty bastard with the unparalleled ease provided by the pinnacle of human engineering. So, what's with all that flashy lights and stuff? Oh yeah. So this allows us to set up a relatively complex set of audio tools in under 15 minutes. This allows us to bring a consistent, high-quality performance to venues of any size. So what's inside? Here we have two hamsters, each being fed a constant trickling supply of amphetamines. This powers the whole rig. We have two full guitar rigs. Each one consists of an 11 rack processor going into one channel of a dual channel USC power amplifier. We have a bass amplifier head sitting on a rack shelf. We have a USB audio interface. This is connected to our laptop. This outputs synthesizer backing tracks, click tracks, and our robot DI guitar. Since we only have one guitar player right now, we use a pre-recorded DI track that we call the robot. My name is Gorbot. It's recently been making demands to be called Gorbot. Now, are we a little worried that it's progressed so quickly from being a DI guitar track to a sentient being? Yeah, but we sound really good live with it. So here we have an X32 digital mixer. This takes in line outs from our guitars, our bass, takes three microphones, vocals, kick drum, snare drum, and the synthesizer backing tracks, as well as the click track that only we can hear, and allows each of us to mix our own stereo in-ear monitor mix. By adding a ton of compression to the drum kit mic, by adding a ton of compression to the snare drum mic, we can actually pick up the majority of the drum kit without having to use overheads live, which is really good for our in-ear monitors. In the back of the rack, not visible, this is connected to a wireless router. This allows us to control each of our in-ear mixes independently from our smartphones. And down here, we have a rack mount tuner. Just in case you're this tall and you want to see if you're in tune. Let's plug, let's plug this fucker in. So what's the actual setup procedure? Really short. So, we plugged in the rack. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Next, we plug the laptop into the USB audio interface. This is the Scarlett 18i20 interface, meaning the USB cable is held in a quantum superposition of 18 different spatial locations. But we know from quantum mechanics that the act of observation will cause the cable to collapse to a single position. Aha! We've got it. Next, we connect three microphones to the inputs of the X32 mixer. A vocal microphone, a kick drum microphone, and a snare drum microphone. Next, we connect the outputs of our bass amplifier and QSC dual channel power amplifier to our onstage cabinets with speak on cables. Next, we connect two more XLRs to the back of our mixer. One carries the vocal signal to front of house, the other carries a mono mix of our synthesizer backing tracks. We hand these to the grumpy sound guy. So now it's time to start Pro Tools. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. Forgot to plug in the eye lock. Just one second. I never find the so USB port on this. Sometimes it's upset. There we go. Let's make sure that's in all the way. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. Let's restart. Hang on, I just gotta restart Pro Tools real quick. Oh man, I don't even know what that error means. Ah. Just gotta restart the computer real quick here. Driver maybe issues. Um, a notable feature of this uh, laptop, it has a solid state hard drive. Um, inevitably, you have to restart a few times when you're uh, running Pro Tools, so it speeds up that process a little bit. I'm plugging in my iLock maybe now. Alright, we're gonna start Pro Tools. Hey! Ah! Woo! It's loading up our live session. Alright, and we're in. And now we can press play. So this quick setup procedure gives us plenty of time to set up our light show, which is going to be the subject part two. The Beast of Nod Rig Rundown. Part two!
Next, we plug the laptop into the audio interface.